Welcome to Discovery Garden Nonkai. My name is Hans Fritschi. In the last few years, fix, the European fix, have become very popular in Thailand. And people didn't know them before, you know, and uh, several varieties were imported and they can be grown in Thailand and people love them because they are sweet, they are refreshing. We will later use figs for something really good. We will prepare something very healthy. But now, first we have to think how to propagate fig trees. Because these two fellows are the only ones left from this tree. Now, it has delivered a lot of fruits over time. In the, I planted it into a pot about six, six months or seven months ago, that size. It has grown tremendously and had a lot of fruits. But now we have to do something that might seem to, ye, to you to be quite brutal. We will cut it back. Okay, this is a nice cut. Now the, my scissors get stuck. Okay, here we go. Okay, and now this seems to be brutal to you and it is in a way but a uh, new life will come of this we just have to work on it follow me to my field hospital okay i just cut this off and we might cut off the leaves up here a little bit because if we make cuttings from these figs that's a way of propagation that works very well with figs okay the rest we get to that later i guess now we move down the stem and here we cut this side branch away and here the same and now you see these knots uh, roots can grow from here from here from here or from here or from here and it we will uh, take cut it here this cutting one and you see it has several knots where this is an emergency in a way you know it uh, amputation and now this uh, life is in danger and it will try uh, to survive and how will it do that it when we plant it into into uh, a pot like this it's important to always work with with uh, dirt that is at least a bit humid huh? my gardeners are having a hard time remembering that because if not humid, it's, nothing is going to grow. Now we have to take this. We make a hole in this dirt. And just make sure this knot is right on the edge of the top. The other knots are underneath. And now we have a big chance that roots will grow
it should be quite firm okay now the leaves are, have a chance of growing here here or here and if you come back to discovery garden Nongkai another day I will show you how this might have worked or I, I show you uh, another example over there okay uh, we are at other fig trees that I uh, brutally cut back the other day but you see here is the old old stem and there is life coming out of this old uh, survivor it has survived my Frankenstein uh, behavior cutting 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 and uh, it is now full of life here is another example I cut it back as brutally as the other one and as you can see there are new fruits forming it is now it wants to survive it has been challenged it wants to be it to survive and over here if you move over here you can see also these cuttings i produced over here have apparently made roots and are ready to grow again and the advantage of working with cuttings is this is adult plant material it will bear fruits immediately after having survived a catastrophe the cutting the cutting near death uh, experience okay uh, we talked about fix up to now and they will be part of something very healthy and very delicious today we will make a muesli you know lots of people nowadays eat muesli all over the world but the, the idea was developed by a swiss doctorate maximilian bircher benner uh, he was a physician in zurich working in zurich and one day he developed a jaundice i mean he got a, a hepatitis and he uh, tried to heal himself and he tried to do that by apples you know apples are very common in switzerland and uh, when we do a muesli today we will of course uh, use local products and that is as close as you can get to uh, a, an apple in a tropical environment it's a, a guave actually it's it has some little seeds all around, uh, contrary to the apple, which is uh, the seeds are centered. It's uh, sweet and sour, and it will be used in our exotic Bircher Müsli, Müsli uh, with, uh, as, as, a, as an apple replacement. Now, okay, we got the, the fix, the sweet stuff, the other ingredient important in the muesli, as you know, is this oats. We put them in here. Mm, we can use a lot. You are quite hungry. I mean, Bircher muesli normally is eaten in the morning, but it, you can use it also as a as a dinner. And then it. Uh, it is uh, also very good now we well i guess first we add the yogurt this is natural yogurt this has a, a rather sourish taste we are going to use fruits that are either rather sweet and other ones that are rather sour in our Bircher Müsli. So you see, you mix it like this. Actually, really easy. You don't have to be a great chef to 
to produce a, a, a muesli. Now you see this, these uh, oats, they are taking in the, the liquid. So we add some milk, which is also available in abundance in Switzerland. Also very, very healthy. And okay, let it simmer. The original, uh, by the way, the original Bircher Müsli also uh, contained lemon. I was just reading that the other day. I didn't, I didn't even know that. We will add more later. Now we add these sweet and sour guavas. Uh, they are normally this kind. Uh, is not so uh, very common in Thailand, outside yellow, inside red. Uh, but at Discovery Garden Nongkai we have all kinds of, of guavas that you normally cannot get in Thailand. Now, this is sweet and sour, now we add a little fig. Look how wonderful that looks. I think I steal a little bit. Mm. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, in here. Might as well do the whole thing. Okay. Now we should maybe be looking for something sour for a change. This is the star fruit, also from our garden. Is it sour? Let's have a look. Very sour, very sour. But that's exactly what we want. Look how pretty this is. Star fruit. You can see why it's called that. Okay, in here. Now, if we wouldn't have fresh figs, we could have used the dried ones. This is also a, a method to make perishable goods uh, sustainable. You can keep them. You can transport them. They were brought to us from a friend uh, from Iran and they are really very sweet. Thank you, Chabat. Mm. Let's come back soon. Now, an uh, integral part of the muesli are also some nuts or seeds. You know, we could go for those, for instance, these are the lotus seeds. They are grown in our pond. And the, if you peel them, yeah, if you can. Oh, this is not working. No. Let's try another one. Maybe not so ripe yet. No, doesn't work. Okay, you see, uh, shit happens. So, but no problem. We have uh, a, another nut uh, prepared for. We could also use this one. This is coconut. We use a, a, a little bit of the of the coconut nut milk also, Swedish, but also cooled down to perfection. It's really refreshing now. As for the nut, uh, these are the, the seeds of the jackfruit. They are not cooked yet. Over here, I have some that have been boiled carefully about 20 to 25 minutes in slightly salted water. And these now, we, now here we get the nuts. Huh? 
what we have to do is just cut out the outer part then we throw it in our muesli to get the important nutty ingredient in our muesli so now we are still a bit on the on the sweet side so what we can do is add these fruits from our garden they are called Thai cherries and they are really really sour Okay, I guess now we are ready to take a bite of our, our very exotic Bircher Müsli made in Nankai with almost 100% local ingredients. Oh, maybe we add some strawberry. Uh, berries also you see the these are the the this is the the flower of of this fruit if you turn it around you see there are the green fruits are, are growing and the flower resembles very much the strawberry uh, flower and the fruits are edible and very very sweet so okay now we are really ready to go and take a bite of that muesli mm. very good so uh, of course this is not a roast pork so i won't say so good but very good for change too very healthy easy to make even for somebody that cannot cook and you will not stop eating and it keeps you through the day full of energy if you take this for breakfast next time we will do something else please join us again next wednesday when uh, we have another episode here from Discovery Garden Nonkai, describe to the Hans Fritschi YouTube channel or Hans Fritschi friends on Facebook and see you again next week. Bye bye!